Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today's uh, topic is on uh, Bitcoin harvesting, but uh, I'm introducing another concept called Bitcoin earning. Not exactly harvesting, because harvesting is uh, quite a complex, uh, complex thing to do. And most likely, uh, you won't earn money in uh, harvesting. Okay, and then before I start, uh, okay, before I start, I like to introduce you to this app first how to earn money uh, from Google survey. The, the reason why I want to introduce this app is because uh, if you want to download the app uh, to earn crypto uh, Bitcoin, you will need money to buy the app. It's only 99 cents only, US are 99 cents to buy the app to earn money, a few cents and a few cents and you've got to cough out 99 cents first. So if you don't want to pay money, then you have to earn the 99 cents. And uh, this Google survey is much easier to earn money than actually Bitcoin, earning through Bitcoin. <laughs> Later, uh, I, I run through this Google survey first and then uh, you, Decide, you take a look whether you want or not. Okay, if you want to download this app, you can go to this page, this link at the bottom. Okay. Uh, there's no referral fee. This one, you, you can go in, install, and then the first survey, they give you $1. But I, you must answer yes. A lot of questions, they ask you only a few questions maybe two or three questions or one question. And then you must answer yes. I answer no, uh, then I get nothing. So I suspect uh, that if you answer yes, you get $1. Somebody said, but I got $0 because I answered no. So don't care whether you yes or no, you just answer yes. Okay, you can install this or you go to Google and download this uh, Google Opinion rewards. Okay, here I show you how to use this app first. Okay. I share on my uh, phone. Share screen, share camera. Oh, how come my I cannot share my screen? Okay. Hey, what? I,
<laughs> I I kick myself out of the screen. But uh, okay, you share. Okay, maybe uh, I I just uh. I do it later la, at the end of the session because uh, I cannot uh, share my Android screen. So we shall leave it for the time being. At the end, after the whole talk, we will explore how to share my Android screen. Then I can show you this one. Meanwhile, you can just install. And then uh, this survey is very easy. Once a day, they may ask you some simple question, like, are you married? That's all. Then you answer, they give you 20 cents, US 20 cents. That's all. So slowly, slowly gather information about you. You can answer rubbish. Uh. Married, you can say not married. They don't care. Okay. So we go back to the Bitcoin. Okay, what is Bitcoin harvesting? Actually, Bitcoin harvesting uh, is a mathematical computation to do a hashing function. And the result of the hashing function must comply with certain pattern that people want. Hashing is a formula that you do a computation and then you cannot reverse back. For example, I can give you a very simple hashing uh, function, for example, uh, but uh, it's a very simple one. Let's say I, you think of a number, any number, and then I will divide by uh, 100 and I get the remainder. That is called hashing. Really. So if you think of a number 999, then I divide by 100, I get the remainder is 99. So you cannot reverse. From the number 99, you won't know what's the original value. It can be 9,999, or it can be 199, you won't know. Okay, but this is a very small number. If you have a number that is uh, 100 digits long, then you, you find it's very difficult really. Okay, so, but for Bitcoin, for example, any number you can hash, you will get a hash result. But that is too easy already. So I come up with a pattern. Okay, after you hash, you can only get number like 33 and 88. So whatever number you give me, let's say you try uh, 555, and then I hash, you get the result is 55, okay? But 55 is not equal to 33 or 88. Or I will put a pattern of a pattern uh, that say we say n with the number 8. You don't care. Anything n with number 8, then it is uh, a result I want. So you get uh, 49, you okay, 449. After you divide by 100, you get 49. So 49 doesn't end with a nine. So it will be rejected. Then you try uh, 2,378, then you hash. You end up with 78. 78, the last digit is eight. Okay, so I accept. So you, this one become one of the Bitcoin. So it sounds very easy. But then you realize that eight, 78 is already discovered already. Somebody already found the answer. 
somebody got this first before you. So also no count. Then your effort will be wasted. Then you got to try again. So is the number is so huge uh, that until today, it's still not 100% used up. But of course, it will get progressively small. The number in the screen, uh, the number I mean in the that you can hash and get a valid result will get progressively smaller and smaller. Okay, so as your results get smaller, you find that most of your effort will be wasted. So if you want to harvest it on your own, that will be very costly because uh, most of your, you, that means you start with nothing. Then you, as you harvest, you find that most of your number already has been used. So uh, it's best uh, you join someone, uh, some, uh, some organization, some group, uh, there are some groups there. And then you just uh, help to provide computational power and then you you get the result then you you got to pay some fees for all these things okay so and is it's not a easy setup but there are software that you can do it all these are they already the back end already settled so you just run the software okay so what are the harvesting method you can use? You can use an old PC or you can use a high-end PC. I'm a very, a very high-end PC, maybe it can give you a hundred million hash per second. That means hash means one complete computation. So it sounds a lot, but actually it's very, very tiny. You will lose money if you try to use a PC to hash. Or you can make it faster with a graphic processing unit. Okay, but of course the cost go up, it's higher cost. Or you can go and use a ASIC. Okay, ASIC is uh, those uh, hardware chip uh, that can compute the Bitcoin very quickly, it's done by hardware and not through a software uh, algorithm. So that is also one reason why uh, Bitcoin is not so uh, good in this way because it can be done in the hardware. You can use a hardware to do all the computation. So the, the person who designed this hardware chip, I heard uh, he made millions of dollars already. He made a lot of money. And uh, I heard that the Japanese also want to create this chip with a smaller nanometer size. With, that means they have a higher speed and less power consumption. So it, it will be more economical and you will make money if you can do that la, with a higher speed and less energy consumption. So this uh, hardware is currently the preferred method for Bitcoin harvesting. Okay, if you look at uh, the hardware, okay, this is uh, one of them. You, you go AliExpress, uh, you, can, you can find them already. Okay, it's US 1,300. You can buy a second-hand, second hand, which is uh, half the price. Uh, I mean, a used one. Uh. So this one has 23 Terra hash per second. Terra, Terra means how many zero? Nine, 12 zero. <laughs> a mega is only six zero. A giga is a nine zero. 
a Terra is a 12 zero. So your one PC is a hundred Mac. Uh. This is 23 Terra. That means 23 million Mac. 23 million Mac compared to your 100 Mac. So, and it's cheap. If you consider that this hardware is cheaper than a PC. Okay. And, and then you look at the power consumption. Okay. That will also frighten you. 2,000 2, watts. 2 kilowatt. Your PC is probably uh, less than 100 watts. Okay, but you see, it has like 20 times more power consumption than your PC. But its computation is like a, a million times, a million times more than your PC. So in terms of return on investment, it's definitely much better. Okay, and then this one, because you use 10 nanometer chip, huh? So the power consumption is considered uh, lower. If you buy the old ones, then maybe they use a, a bigger size chip, they say 14 nano or what, then the power consumption will be higher. So if you look at this one, okay, for example, this one, 600, $600 US, it's only 14 tera, means million, uh, 14 million, you know, 14 tera, million megabyte. Okay, you look at this power consumption. Okay, 1,004. Okay, 1 1.4 gigawatt. So if you get less power, And, and this one didn't tell you what chip they use. Anyway, you, you compare like, all this power and so on. So, and then you can go to this Bitcoin calculator, Bitcoin mining calculator to input. Okay. The first one that I show you is 23 uh, Terra hash per second. Okay, let me make this bigger. Okay, the first one I show you is 23 tera hash per second. The power consumption is 2,100 watts. Then let's say our electricity cost is uh, 14 cents uh, in US dollar because they, they calculate everything in US dollar. And then uh, maintenance, uh, you pull maintenance and uh, there's a fee to pay. If you don't do pull maintenance, pull uh, computation, then you do your own but you have a lot of uh, wrong one or people done and then you can do again, you waste your time. Okay, and then when you click this, they tell you what's the revenue. Okay, so you earn $5. Okay, but uh, that's the per hour. Lah. Okay. Not per hour, this, no, I think a day. So this one is a kilowatt hour, 14 cents, the electricity cost, you can calculate. Nah. Because here, they didn't tell you how much you earn. I think it's a day, lah, per day. So 14 cents times 24 hour, is three dollar but here the electricity cost they put it as seven dollar we also don't know how they do it oh wrong wrong, wrong. times 2.1 okay correct so roughly la. so the 24 hour one day la. one day your electricity cost is seven dollar your return is five dollars so if you want to earn Bitcoin, yeah, you can earn Bitcoin, but you've got to pay the electricity. 
The only way that this method will work is you don't pay electricity. So for example, if you are in, in an office, let's say in one of the somebody's office, uh, you work there, and then you just buy one of these device, go to office, plug it in and run. So the office is paying the bill and you are earning the Bitcoin. So that's a good idea, right? Provided they don't cash you, la, but cash you, is it considered stealing or you or don't know what la, misuse of office uh, resources because uh, office are paying the money and they are earning the money. So the net is your loss, uh, is a loss by the office, but of course you earn. So that way you can you can earn. Okay, other than that, uh, you must find a way to reduce the electricity cost. Let's say you can do it at five cents. Then you find that you are making money. Okay. How to get electricity cost at five cents? You may have to go to somewhere, maybe near some hydroelectric dam where they produce uh, hydroelectricity. And then you put your, your warehouse of all these uh, machine near there. And then you buy the electricity directly from them. So the wire, the cabling cost is very low because they are near the generator. And, and then uh, is, these places are normally quite high because uh, the dam is very high. Otherwise you can't hold water. So when they are at the high ground, this is a cooler. Cooler means you, you don't need air conditioning. So you save on air conditioning costs or you don't need a lot of big, big fan. As long as you suck some air in, the place will be cool already. You cannot heat up the whole mountain. Not like the, you don't have enough uh, energy consumption to heat up the whole mountain. So you can use the cold air to cool down your equipment because each one is two kilowatt. Imagine your rice cooker is three kilowatt. Okay, or your electric kettle is three kilowatt. This one is two kilowatt. So you are running like one electric kettle, boiling water in your house, producing all the heat. So it's, it's very, very hot. It's very, very hot. But if you use a PC, it's worse. Okay, you have a, a million times worse. So nobody use a PC to harvest. But as a, as a user, if you have a spare computer, let's say in your office, you have a spare computer, you leave it on whole day, and then you are not paying for the electricity, you can let the PC run when you are, when you're not working at night, you come back home, the PC continue to run and harvest the Bitcoin for you. It's very, very little. Okay, but then uh, let's say, okay, we look at the PC. You see, they don't even have a mega. <laughs> so it's 100, it's 0 0.1 gigahertz. So your energy consumption for PC, let's say, you can switch off the monitor. Let's say you cost 50 watt. They are more than that. Let's say 60 watt. And your electricity cost, okay, let's say for them, they pay 40 cents. Oh, one day you don't even earn one coin. <laughs> it's, it's too little for a day. So unless you you change, you lose uh, you lose 20 cents. You you can't too small already. One PC is too small. So if you want a PC, uh, you can use somebody's uh the third party software. Then you just run uh, what the software, how the software harvest, you don't care. You just install the software and run. Okay. So that is uh, that's one way. 
they want sure make money because the office is paying the electric bill. Okay, anyway, one day uh, they only paid 20 cents. Okay, 20 cents for one day. But you probably earn zero point something cent, yeah. so it's very little. Okay. So yeah, this site they tell you what are the best PC for Bitcoin. You find these are very power, very expensive one. AMD Ryzen. These are very expensive ones. You see. So no point, uh, no point go and use. Okay, so now we show you an easier way to make money. Okay. Some people may want to consider Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is very, very slow, but the energy consumption is also very little. But eventually, it still loses out to the ASIC. Okay, so Raspberry Pi is also not practical. Okay, and you, you also won't make money using Raspberry Pi. Okay, but instead of Bitcoin harvesting, let's go into earning Bitcoin. You don't care whether you harvest or you steal or whatever. Lah. So as long as you can get Bitcoin, why, why you care how you get, whether you harvest or you earn. Same like whether you want to be a farmer to, to farm the, the chicken and the vegetable, or you just want to work as a laborer to, to earn the money. Both ways also can. You, you either mine or you earn. Okay, one of the software that I'm introducing here is CryptoTech. Okay, you, you can download from this link at the bottom. Okay. Okay, so CryptoTech is a browser actually. Last time uh, it was a Google Chrome extension, but then Google blocked them. Then they use the Chrome open source software to develop the, the app, uh, the extension built into the, his own browser. That means he used his own um, browser to run his own crypto tab. Okay. And this crypto tab is not actually, uh, you are not actually harvesting Bitcoin. You are actually helping Monero to do computation. Then Monero will reward you with Bitcoin. So in this way, you can earn Bitcoin. Okay, I am running on a Intel Core i7 PC at 2.8 gigahertz. So that one I earn about eight cents per day. So it's very little. You will make, you won't make you rich. Okay, and then uh, if you want to use you use this browser, this this crypto tab browser to run or install software, you need a referral code. So this referral code will help me earn money. It's like a pyramid scheme. Okay. Later we tell you what's the scheme. So first is if you once you enter this crypto tab because I've already registered, so I just uh, screen capture some of the sequences. Okay, so because I I, I don't know whether I can reg register again or so I just uh, leave it here lah. So you when you when you install the software, it's actually a browser. Then you need to sign in with an email or your phone. Okay, then of course you click next. Then they will send to your email. So in your email, there will be a, a link. Uh, some, they'll tell you some like one time password. So you just confirm, uh, confirm. Okay, this is my email. 
So you can resend if you can't find from the email you confirm, then you are done already. Then you get you get this screen. You start with zero or nothing. Okay. And the most important button to click uh, is this button off, off, and max. Uh. You click on off, then you stop computing. You can drag this button, how many percent up to you. Okay, or you can go to maximum. Okay, I can show you a demo. At the bottom, uh, you'll see this tab, this circular tab uh, is, is a crypto, crypto tab browser. It's like Chrome. Okay, it's exactly like a Chrome browser. You you can use it to search your things like it's like a, just like a browser. So this crypto tab use the open source browser to develop the app. So you end up with as another browser called crypto tab browser. <laughs> so here is here you can click because I'm using a lot of software, so the, the thing dropped to 900. Okay. okay. So now it's only nine hundred. If if I don't do anything, close my app, then it will reach two thousand nine or 2008, around there. So for 2.8 gigahertz core i7, you get 2008. And that will earn you eight cents. So if I drop to 1,900, I probably earn two cents a day. Okay, so if I off, then it stop, it stop computing. So I can turn it on. Then you start calculating. Okay, your computer may run a bit slower, but you won't notice it. I I run for uh, five days, six days like that around there uh, around six days, and I earn only fifty five US dollar US cents. Okay, and of course, if the Bitcoin price go up, uh, then the value I earn. Will go up because I earn by Bitcoin. You can cash out, but for this small amount, cannot cash out. And there's this thing called crowd boost. Okay, later I show you what's the meaning of crowd boost. Okay, so you can boost your earning uh, two times to ten times, but there's a cost. Uh, you have to pay to boost, and uh, the amount you pay if you cannot. Yeah. Question. Okay, the amount you want, the amount you pay may not earn that extra. So I suggest uh, you don't boost. Okay, if you run on a PC, then uh, you can run 24 hours. This thing will run. You just, if you don't switch off your PC, it will continue to run. Okay, but your electricity bill one day uh, will be 20 cents. The Bitcoin one day you earn only ten cent. Let's say sing dollar ten cent. Your electric bill is twenty cent. So you actually lose out in electric bill. But because uh, for me I got to leave my computer on all the time because I uh, doing work. Switch to the left. Huh? Okay. So. I just run up because I need my computer to be on all the time. So to me, the electricity cost is a sunken cost. So I, I don't mind. I just run it 24 hours on the PC. Okay, you can do it uh, when you go to office. You can run it. When you go back home, you just switch it off. So you don't, you don't actually incur extra energy cost since you are using. And most of the time, you won't use all the power of the PC. And this thing, after you install, you don't see that it's much slower. It, it actually, it will, it, it actually slow down. You see, when you use resources, 
the computation speed actually slow down. So it doesn't, if that you won't notice it very much. Okay, and then at the bottom, you have this uh, referral, referral code. Okay, this link. So you need the, you need the code, otherwise you cannot install. So when you install, I become the referrer, okay? So the boost, uh, if you, just now I mentioned about the boost, right? So if you want to boost two times, you pay 99 cents, $1.99. That means about $2 a month, uh, a month. So if you one day you earn 20 cents, so one month you earn 60 cents. 20 cents, six times 30 days is 60 cents. Okay, six dollar. Okay, six dollar. So you pay two dollar, you earn six dollar. Okay. One day, if one day, one day you earn 10 cents, uh, one month you earn three dollars and you still make extra one dollar. Okay, if you boost two times. But you boost four times, uh, you maybe make a bit more and so on. Uh. But not much difference. Uh. You, you see two times and six times. It, 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 the, the, it doesn't make sense also. Because you boost six times, you pay 10. You boost two times, you boost four times, you pay not $4, it's $5. So this logic. Jay, can we ask you a question along the way? Can, 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 you ask what? I want to ask you, uh, you get the money from who? Uh, no, 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 you don't get money, you get the Bitcoin. Later, you can exchange, exchange the Bitcoin. You go to another channel to cash out your Bitcoin. You can transfer the Bitcoin to somebody or you can sell your Bitcoin in business, uh, business, the finance. Uh, so this Bitcoin that you... Bitcoin that you get uh, is is not physically not physical coin uh, not physical not something physical is digit is it? yeah yeah is you don't have a Bitcoin wallet it's just an account in crypto tab they give you an account say okay you have how much but they are holding the Bitcoin not you you are not holding you want to cash out uh, then you must have a Bitcoin wallet then you can cash out put inside your so Bitcoin you wallet. Can you show us one of your Bitcoin account? Okay. Later. Uh, okay. uh, I, how, how does it look like? 100, 100 oh, no, digits? No, 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 no. You, it doesn't look like anything. This is the oh, Bitcoin. How does it look like? Like that. It looks like that. It looks like that. <laughs> yeah. This so is a that is uh, five, five, 55 cents. Uh? Yeah, US 55 cents. It goes many decimal points. You don't, when you pay people, you pay in decimal point. So many decimal points. So this is a, bit, a, a Bitcoin of yours. This is Bitcoin, but it is 0 0.00001499. Oh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's so many Bitcoin, so little so Bitcoin. It's you just mind, a small you tiny mind, You mind this one now. This is the no, one I earn this. I, I don't do mining. I earn this by How providing. This one? Okay, I I earn this big. I earn. I earn by providing computational power to this company called Monero. Okay, you you can check up this Monero. Okay, this company. Uh, if I, I read it, understand correctly, okay, it, it is something to do with privacy. They use your computational power to cut, to compute a, a signature to protect your transaction. Somebody uh, to help someone hide his transaction so that people do not know who actually make this transaction. You see, is is some form of privacy. Otherwise, uh, when you when you buy 
buy uh, weapons or you buy drugs or whatever, then you don't want people to know. Uh. You see, or you buy something for your girlfriend, don't want your wife to know. Now it's difficult, uh, but maybe somebody with very powerful hacking ability, uh, they can deduce that you are the one who bought. Okay, so this because website all that control your computer. Huh? So this website control your computer. Uh not control the computer. They you are helping them to do computation. Oh, so you they give you a license to do it. They give you the software called CryptoTab. This software. This software that you install in your PC. It will communicate with Monero to determine what, what to calculate. It's just like you are a tuition teacher. And then uh, people give you, you ask the, the office, okay, any more questions for me to solve? Then the office will send you a question. Then you solve, then they reward you. So here, same thing. They send you something to compute. And then you use your PC power to do computation. And then you get the result. Then they reward you. Okay. Uh, so no so result, you are get rewarded. Uh, you are like a slave. La. Worker. La, like not slave. Slave, la. slave don't earn la. Slave don't earn money. Yeah, they, worker. Give you, they take commission. Yeah, you you because they don't have all the PC power in the whole world. So they ask people to contribute some of their spare PC power, and then they reward you with Bitcoin. So, so I help them, uh, I help them compute uh, 9,000, 9, I help them compute 958 computation a second. So every second I compute 948. So if you have a, a thousand people, a million people, then you have a lot of computation. Uh, so you are actually selling your CPU power to someone. Uh, uh, what, what is your CPU power? Like point, in this case? 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, is it a computer or is well, it a computer? Yeah, computer? You can check. Uh, June 2021, we are now on day number 340. Close of the class, you can get on the so you, you can check here, you can see 2.8 gigahertz Intel this Core. This is your, usual, your office computer. Yeah, this is my computer, my desktop. Your desktop, huh? so any, any, any desktop computer? Yeah, any desktop can. So while, the, while it is using your uh, computer 24 hours, you can still uh, work on your computer can, 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 can. So it's working in the background. Once you work on your computer, the number drop long, become like 900, about 900. But if you don't do uh, work, yeah, yeah. you become 2,800. I see, so, so you can still use a computer. La. Can, can, you uh, it's just small, slightly slower, you won't notice it because most of the time you are doing the thinking, not the typing. If you are playing computer game, then, you want every ounce of energy speed, ma. but you are not, so it's okay. So can you read this, uh, this figure, 966.43 something something? This, uh, what is the, the, what is the yellow star, but how do you read? Hash, no, la, hash la, number of hash. No, hash no, is no, uh, computation, la, um, 900. Per second. Yeah, 972 computation per second. Uh, hash is a mathematical function they call a hash function. All the, the a lot of math, a lot of formula algorithm also call hash. Uh, the, the category of function called hash. That's why I give you uh, like you take, you divide by 100, you get the remainder. That's a very simple hashing function. Those still don't understand the hashing function. Never mind. No, no, it's just a mathematical thing. You go through some formula, you come out with a signature. They call it 
digital signature is a so hash. There is a known, there is a known mathematical formula for everybody. Yeah, to maybe use. you can just design your own. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so so this this one you boost when you boost your when you boost you got to pay money. So if I boost times two, then I can earn three dollars, but I minus got eight eight times three is not exactly ten cent. I earn like eight cent, eight times three twenty-four. So two forty, so I earn forty cent more. But sometimes can you, when can I you repeat my, boost again? I don't understand boost. No, some because I one day uh, twenty four hours I can earn eight cents. Uh, so one month I can earn two dollar forty cent. Okay, if I want to boost, that means I times two. I I earn double uh, I earn twice my earning. Well, how do you how do you boost it? Yeah, you just pay. You just click the button. You click this button. You boost data. I show you. Uh, you click the button. You boost. You just pay money. You just pay by credit card. What was the mechanism behind the boost? Okay, data. Is it push your computer? What's the, what's the mechanism? It boosts your computer. Boost. It boosts no, your no, computational no. power. No, no, no. It does. It doesn't. It just. They just say. They pay you double. You you pay two dollar, they pay you two forty. Because you one one month uh, you can earn two forty. You boost, you pay them one ninety nine. They pay you another two forty. That means four eighty. But, but the you, mechanic of boosting is what? Nothing la. They all bushy no, no They say crowd. They say crowd boost ah. Uh, over here lah, that crowd boost. But I don't, I don't think it's any crowd lah. They just double your earning. That's all. So if I boost, I will earn instead of fifty five cent, I earn one dollar and ten cent. No? Oh, they five want sa. more money from you lah. Yeah, but I must pay upfront first. But Correct. Then they will pay you more lah. You, but if you can't make it lah, you lose money. You see, because like uh, my daughter run it on her phone. She only one day only earn one cent only. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so you one man uh, only earn 30 cent only. And then you boost, you pay $2, you only earn 30 cent. So the phone is very slow. And then the, on the, if you run on the phone, you can use your phone to install. Okay, and then uh, on the phone, uh, you only run three hours. After three hours, it will stop. And then you must set the alarm clock. Then you will go in and run again, start start the thing again. And then three oh, hours it, later, it, it, it doesn't stop. run all the time. You can't run forever. So of course, at night you sleep, uh, you want to wake up three hours later, to go toilet, urine, at the same time you run the program also can. Or you want to sleep, uh, then you don't set the alarm, and then you don't wake up, you can't run continuously. So you cannot you sleep, you cannot run. But sometimes she will click, sometimes she don't click. So one day only earn one cent only. On the Some computer, run 24 hours. Yeah, On you can't computer, run 24, run 24. Hours. You on the on the phone app, you only run three hours. My phone is okay because most people will leave the phone on. You don't switch off your phone. So why only three you, hours? They design like that. You got to ask them uh, unless I am the okay. owner. Uh, I can go in and bank table and ask them why only three hours. Okay. 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 Okay, so this one must ask them. Uh, not, I won't know the answer. So if you are if you are using a phone, you normally leave the phone on. So these are I, I know the answer. Phone. I know answer why three hours. Cannot answer because you have to 
you must ask the CEO la, of CryptoTap. No, the whole, I, the whole idea is to get the youngsters to know about this web. And then eventually when they grow up, they will migrate to uh, migrate to this uh, their stock. This is the usual trick in the internet world. They give you it bits in the, in the end, they rope you. This is the reason why they, they let you use on the phone. Because when you grow up, you'll be doing, you'll be contributing much more to them on your desktop or whatever. No, no, no. I, I think uh, is on the phone, you got to pay 99 cents to install. On the desktop, it's free. It's free to install on the desktop. So for those people who want to earn money, they use a desktop. Those people who want to earn one cent a day, they use a phone. Okay, but you got to buy the app at 99 cents. So you yeah, that's logic, 100 days later. Yeah. That's a logic. You, if you try to run it every three hours, you need about 100 days to earn back your 99 cents. Okay, so it may not be worth installing on the phone for that one cent. It's for play play only. La. Yeah, la, in a way. La. So if you have a... Okay, yeah. So you, you boost, you got to pay, and they just give you more reward, that's all. Okay, but one thing, uh, if you install, you can accidentally make your web browser default. Uh, become crypto app, crypto tab uh, browser. So you must come in here setting to change this. You click on this and then you, you change back to your Chrome or Mozilla or Microsoft Edge or whatever uh, browser you use. Otherwise you keep using the crypto tab browser, which is exactly the same as a Chrome browser. So if you don't mind, I just run crypto tab browser. You don't run the Chrome. It's the same now. Nah. It's the same. Yeah. But surprising, maybe surprising. Updated lah. It's not as updated as a Chrome browser. Okay, this is how you can make money. Okay, it's like a pyramid scheme. Okay, what I make is here. I make uh then eight cents a day. Okay, so if if you use my referral code to install. If you earn one dollar, I earn fifteen cent, and there's no limit, uh, no limit to number of level one. If one hundred people install, uh, then I earn fifteen cent times one hundred. So in one month, uh, okay, I earn fifteen dollar. You know what I mean? If one hundred people is under my level one, and if everyone earn one dollar, then I earn fifteen cent times hundred people. So if all of you here install, then I will get, uh, let's say 20. 20. If 20 of you install, then if you all earn $1 every month, then I earn 15 cents from 20 is $3 <laughs> every month. Okay, but if you refer somebody else, okay, on the level two, then I'll get 10% of whatever this level to earn. Of course, you will become the level one. Uh, for you, uh, this level two become your level one. And then level three is 5%. Then level four is 3%, level five, 2%, then 1%, 0.5%, 0.25%, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625. So it's like pyramid scheme. So this is where you make money. You personally try to try to earn uh, is very miserable. <laughs> so you need a very, very high level, many, many people to use. So it will attract people to ask, hey, ask everybody to install. And then everybody ask everybody else. Then it become a pyramid. So you are at the top of the pyramid, you earn everybody's. So if you want to go in, you need a referral code. So then the referral code, then I make. Then your turn to go in, you make. So my daughter is the one refer me. So she is higher. 
So whatever it makes, she get 15%. And then she also referred by someone else. So that fellow will get, and so on, so on. So it goes down. So the money is in the pyramid scheme, provided the pyramid grow. <laughs> but a lot of people, uh, the pyramid stop at level one. <laughs> It doesn't grow. Theoretically, it can be a pyramid, uh, but everybody get tired. Because if you your phone earn one cent, uh, then a day uh, you you give up after a while. Okay. Okay, so now we finish the talk on this. Okay, so let me show you the demo. Okay. This is a Bitcoin have, uh, earning, earning software. So you can go and read all these things. Okay, basically, if you want to boost, you, you click on the boost. And then they tell you, you want to activate. So their terms are, tell you all these things. They accept and continue. Then they ask you to pay money. Uh. So you don't want, you cancel. Okay, you, you can do it yourself if you want to. So I'm not in the ready to boost yet because uh, I, I won't earn $2. Okay, so there are there are many other things uh, you so many uh, are yeah, you you see until you blur it but doesn't matter so th here they have a concept they have a concept they make use of your computing power to earn money they to to do for them uh, the, the computational power they pay you in cryptocurrency and there's another option to cash out uh, I forgot where's the where's the link to to cash out already. Okay, withdraw funds. So you got to read lah. I haven't withdraw anything, so I'm not familiar with this. So you you go through, you can withdraw. But I don't think it's uh it maybe not straightforward to withdraw. I, I haven't withdraw yet. Okay, withdraw. So, oh, they ask you to verify email. No need. Lah. So you go and figure out how to withdraw. I will figure out when I have enough money because I think there's a fee to pay uh, when you withdraw. I'm not, I'm not sure. So this small little money, uh, just leave it there. Okay. This is your wallet? No, no, not my wallet. This is my account. Only. It's not my no wallet. Account. There's no wallet yet. I don't have a Bitcoin wallet. You want a Bitcoin wallet, then it's another software. Then you must manage your key. You must withdraw your Bitcoin into your wallet. And then you have your Bitcoin in your wallet, then you can you can use it. This is as good as your wallet because it's in the account. No, no wallet. Just like the account, you put money in the bank, you log into your bank, you see your money there. It's like CPF. I can see, see, I can money see your money there. CPF. Yeah, but that's not your wallet. What? That's just no, a But then you know this is your money, you can take this money. Now you can, but you want to take money, you must have a wallet to keep your money. You don't have a wallet, you can't keep your money. But, and they, but they are keeping your money there already, isn't it? No, this is just an account. You log into your CPF, you see so much money inside your CPF. That's all. It's not. Oh, that's good, that's good enough. Yeah, you can withdraw. It's the same now. You, you see the Bitcoin inside there. 
good enough, lor. Just like you look at your CPM money, you that's all. Ah, you go yeah, to your bank account. For you. So you don't no need to have a wallet. Yeah, you you this can't use. Good. You can't use. You go to uh, a DBS. You see the money. You can't use. The only oh, yeah, way yeah, to you use. Can't use. The only way to use. Is to go to ATM machine and withdraw the cash to use. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. This one you 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 can also withdraw la, but then you cannot draw small small bits and pieces. Can can you can withdraw, but you need an electronic wallet to store your electronic Bitcoin. Okay, well in yeah. in cash, uh, you go to the ATM, you withdraw the cash, you put in your physical wallet. So this one is yeah, a yeah, feature, yeah. it's a software wallet. You put the the number uh, a secret code inside your software wallet encrypted. Yeah. So nobody knows. And, it, and you can dispense. Then if somebody wants, then you can exchange your Bitcoin with services. You see? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Understand. Uh, if nobody wants, then it remains a wallet useless. It's just like yeah. Pokemon monster. You capture all the Pokemon inside your wallet. Uh, inside your phone have a lot of Pokemon. If nobody wants to buy a Pokemon from you, then you, it's useless. You keep keep a lot, no use. It must people want to pay money, then it's valuable. Yeah. Okay. So we shall stop here. Then I will try on the survey.